Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the cross into the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched, it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Imagine the gospel scene of the multitude of the sick, the dying, and the destitute constantly surrounding Jesus. Jesus was neither numbed by such great and real sufferings, nor was dragged into despair by such great needs. He always responded personally and compassionately, and never treated them as masses of people in need. Are we personally affected by the sufferings around us? the multitude of the migrant workers, cancer patients, and more that we see around us daily? Jesus wants us to be more like Him. Let us now pray the Oratio Iperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help the sick. Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Our Mother of Good Counsel, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music> 